Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt and today I'm going to go explore this mine here behind me along with a couple others just around the hill. I'm not sure what we're going to find, but I'm super excited. It's great day to be out here exploring, so let's go. A lot of tumbleweeds out here. And water. Dripping off the ceiling. All right, so we're just a few feet back in the entrance, and we got a spray paint. It looks like 20. Is that 20 feet? Maybe. Might be. I guess that's 30 feet. I don't know if you guys can hear on the video or not, but it's very echoey in here, which means this rock is super solid. There's a lot of water on the walls. We're out here in the desert. So I don't know if it's like this year round or if it's just because it's winter and there's snow is starting to melt. This right here is soft rock. Just chips right off. You have some tree roots right there. Interesting. I'm not sure what it means. There's 60 foot. So right there, we have a hole from when they were drilling. It didn't blow out all the way. 70. What is this circle from? I wonder if someone took some of this rock out of here. These paint markings are relatively new. I don't think they had spray paint a hundred years ago. There's a channel from the drill still when they blasted. So I think someone's been in here to do sample work explore this mine which isn't surprising but it's weird how they just take a little tiny sample they make that circle they just chipped out this little hole so a couple rocks on the ground here Got a little bit of intrusion of some kind of rock. Kind of cool looking. <laughs> 90 feet. A lot of water right here. Along with all these big rocks that came down from right there. So that right there, got my headlamps on, looks kind of like there's some dirt or clay with it. Interesting. And we'll keep going. Uh oh, number of the beast. 190 feet in. <sighs> Kinda 
kind of wonder if this was just a exploration tunnel or if there was or farther up the mountain and they were trying to intersect it and get underneath it. So we've gone relatively straight up until this point. 240 feet in, it kind of starts to turn and curve a little bit. different rock right here. These little cord stringers. And there's mud or clay. I don't know if there's anything in here at all. Might have to take some of that home later. from their drill bits. There's another one right there. That one says 290. That one, which I think is from the miners, says 300. Where it's written in black, Kind of wonder if that's from a carbide light. I'm not sure. So they took a sample right here. And I can see why. Got some quartz vein right there. So now we're starting to get these boards on the ground. Those are from when they had rail in here. And here we have track in the mine. 360 feet inside. I didn't think this mine actually went this far, to be honest. It was a rather small mine dump outside. So it's a pleasant surprise. So right here, we got into a different type of rock. A little alcove. It looks really cool. Oh, you suck. Scared the crap out of me. Stepped on that piece of plastic. Ooh, sounded like a snake or something. Gave me a heart attack. Yeah, look at this stuff here. Yeah. I'll have to chip some out. So this type of rock I was seeing outside in the mine dump, but I wasn't seeing much of this clay-like material. Hello? Sounds kind of weird back here. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's almost like clay. Just breaks right apart. Uh, BJ7. Yeah, look at this stuff here. This looks good. Some 
nasty, icky clay. So they came back here a little bit, but not real far. Apparently there wasn't anything valuable in here. Maybe an H right there on the end. Can't quite tell what it says. All right, we'll keep going. So the rebels are still here, but they've had a lot of dirt, mud washed down here and kind of bury them. Look right there. I wonder if that's just water. Maybe just water. I was thinking it was Galena or something. Four hundred feet. Definitely went farther than I thought it would. Five hundred feet. Definitely a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Look at that. That's kind of cool looking. There's a lot of water through this mine. I was not expecting that at all. Five hundred and fifty feet from the portal. And just right in here is this little seam of material. But if you can look way up in there, it actually goes back up there a long ways. There, there's a kind of good shot. Just a natural crack in the earth and all the rock. I've seen a few natural cracks like this in mines, but this is definitely one that goes farther than any other I've seen. Probably 20 or 30 feet it looks like. And then it curves to the right and I can't see farther. So, hey, that's actually really cool looking honestly. But that makes me wonder if this material right in here would be any good. Kind of like a fault gouge material. Because you have cords and stuff right back in here. Interesting. 
Looks pretty cool. Curves to the right a lot. BJ2. BJ1. BJ3. I think these are sample markings, but it's weird that there's three separate ones this close together. I don't know, I don't get it. But I'm having to duck down a lot now. So we have a piece of metal right there. I'm gonna toss a rock to make sure there's not a snake living under there. All right, I guess we'll keep going. Okay, so this was a monk sheet. They would put it at the end of the mine and blast rock onto it. That would make it easier to dig up. But it. And the reason it's there is because we're here at the end of the mine. 590, 600 feet in. Sticks and wood. And Apparently they found nothing that made them want to keep going. They hit this black, gray, boring rock. But there is this running through it. I don't know what it is. There was nothing in here that got me real excited. Nothing looked too crazy good. So I guess we'll go see what we can find outside. We made it back outside. I was just going to give you guys a quick look around. You have the cement foundation from something. No idea what. Off the right side up here, up the hill, right there. In the snow, looks like someone dug some kind of hole, but with the snow, I can't really tell. But I do see some um, right there in the grass. So we're going to go take a look and see what it is. So, I think this was where they kept the dynamite. In the door right here, they built rock walls here and here. And that would have been the roof. Yeah, I think this was just their powder shack to store dynamite. Well guys, the next mine we're going to explore is up the hill behind me. And there is a road, but it goes over here in the snow. And even getting to this point where I'm at, I slide in in the mud and the snow and it just gets worse. So we are going to hike up this lovely little hill, have a nice stroll through the park and see what we can find on top. I didn't actually know this was here. Someone kind of just did a little sampling. There wasn't much, just this little pile here. But what we want is right there. You can see the mine dump. Looks pretty decent. So let's get going. So we made it up the hill and it's a decent little mine dump here. The other mine we were exploring was straight down that way. So same general neighborhood. Huh. Well this one has a metal gate on it. I think I can get down there. No, I don't recommend you guys get out here on the edge and look. 
There are some weird, weird sounds coming out of this mine, though. I don't know if you can hear it. I think I see the bottom, but I don't know for sure. Really cool looking down there. Even cooler sounding. So here's that other mine. Oh, this one gated off too. What the heck? I mean, I get that it's dangerous. You don't want a mine shaft just sitting here open where numb nuts can fall down. But I'm curious what's down here. So, oh, don't drop my camera. I can see what I believe is a false bottom right there. Because I think it keeps going. These GoPros are awesome, but I need to get a camera that's got a zoom. So in that top right corner, even top left corner of that floor down there, looks like it probably keeps going. And then right there, where my light is, looks like there's a little level or something. And possibly one right there. But, I'm not sure. So to give you guys a little bit of context, this is the third mine we were looking at, and it goes on an angle, inclines down that way. The vertical shaft that sounded really cool was right in front of me or directly behind the camera. So it kind of lines up pretty much with this mine here, maybe a few feet off to the side. And then that way to my right, was that mine we explored and went back 600 feet. And I'm guessing 600 feet puts us pretty close to right underneath where we're at. As I was getting ready to leave this mine here, I looked off that way and right there in the snow is another mine. Looks like a much, much bigger mine dump than what we've seen over here, of these three mines we've been exploring. So, I'm gonna walk over there. Hopefully the snow's not too deep over there, but it looks fairly dry so most I'm of the way. making my way to that mine over there. We were just up there by that tree, but I couldn't help but notice all these little prospect pits. There's one there, there's one here, there's one right there, there's one right there, probably half a dozen little tiny prospect pits, little rabbit holes they dug. Just looking for whatever mineral they were mining. It's crazy how much work they put into it before they actually started a decent sized mine. So I don't know how they decided where to dig or what they saw out here that made them want to try and dig. But the amount of work they put in was crazy. We're just getting up to this mine dump and it's kind of nice being out here in the early spring it's a little chilly but it'll be hot out here in the summer so I gotta enjoy it while I can these rocks look different from those other mines we were looking at Not sure if that means anything of importance or not. Well, crap. I can hear animals in there. Squeaking and whatever. Chirping. But, as you can see, it's completely full of freaking tumbleweeds. And I'm not really in the mood to dig those out right now. And I kind of get the feeling it would be barred off anyway, gated off. So we'll poke around the mind up for a minute. It's a hefty rock. I 
This stuff looks a lot better than what I found at the other mines. See that quartz vein with that tinted red? The iron staining? And they're pretty heavy rocks for the size. Oh, right there in the middle. Let's see, right there at the edge of my thumb. Looks like Galena. And it's a pretty heavy rock. So I think I'm gonna fill up a bag of rocks and take them home. But if you guys will notice, this pile here, where I was finding this good looking rock, is kind of set off to the side, and it looks like it was intentionally dumped there. Whereas everything else is level, and it comes out here, and they dumped it off the edge. But that stuff is piled up. And that leads me to believe they were saving it either because it was ore that they wanted to save up till they had enough to send to the smelter or because they set it off to the side to be tested. They didn't want to throw it away until they knew for sure what it was. A lot of red rocks out here. Almost looks like sandstone, even though I know it's not. That one's a lot blacker. So I think I'm going to take some of this ore home with me, fill up a sandbag, and take it home. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's still snow, and because I live in a mountain town, there's still snow at home, and I can't really crush stuff up right now. So that will have to wait about a month or so till I can crush it and see if there's anything in it. But I'm glad you guys tuned in. Hope you had fun, and I will catch you next time.